Right, hello and welcome to this week's angling blog. This week you join me on the banks of the River Ribble. It's the first frost of the year and we're in search of silvers on the stick float. So the day has started with a bit of a disaster. Close the boot on my tripod. So you're currently propped up against the cup on the bank. It's a beautiful morning to be on the bank. Like you can see on screen now, the ground white with frost, that clear skies and that horizon just beginning to glow. So walking the bank at first light, just looking for any signs of fish topping, we began to see one or two just dimple in the low light. Before we do get into this week's blog, I just want to say a huge thank you to everybody that subscribed to the channel. All the nice comments that you leave and the support you show the channel. It really is appreciated that, you know, in a day and age where you can go on a local pond and showcase real fishing, as I see it from a kid, all the way through for it to receive such nice comments on the channel really does make me happy you know that you can go out there do whatever fishing you want to do and people enjoy it so yeah let's waste no time let's have a look at the swim and make a start so that was the coffee cup you were perched up against you can see lots of frost on the ground it's a cold morning on the bank most definitely the river looks beautiful you can see one or two fish just topping in the river you've got my uncle downstream and Gary's further down as well and yeah you just see these fish topping and that's all I look for really you know those signs of fish there's certainly evidence of them today the rod we're going to be using today is my 13 foot Corum guide again left it set up so straight in I've got that down to one of the fine line of floats down to a bulk shot of number four Dinsmore weight so looking at the side tray we've got plenty of bait with us today got quite a bit of that hinders hemp and again cooked it up last night dead simple put it to soak on Thursday night and then 20 minutes cooking last night and it's good to go got a few pints of white maggot and then just left over from last week so they're a bit a bit dormant but they'll do and you've got some tears which will hopefully give a go today we begin to get a couple of those nice roach going now looking at the swim, there's quite a few fish topping. They are a bit further out, as you can see. And what I'm gonna do, like I always say on the channel, is start easy, only go hard if I have to. What I'm gonna begin to do is start off round about here, just past the odd tip, and try and draw the fish to me. I'm just gonna flick in nice and easy, just, just past rod tip, just because it is a bit shallower today and clearer. I'm gonna be really positive with the hemp to start with. I'm gonna put it over an area and just edge that stick float through the swim I say prepare to wait a bit for bites really you know it might take a while to attract them in but hopefully you know if we stick at it we can just begin to build a swim and begin attracting some fish in and that's how you want to start most definitely <laughs> So on a nice cold day, and that fish is ice cold, and no doubt I'll say that a couple of times today, but that is how you want to start. You want to get a bite on the first cast, and with it being a dace, yeah, big confidence boost for the session ahead. And as you can see there, a beautiful morning to be on the bank. It's going to be a clear day. Hopefully, the wind doesn't turn up, which can on this venue. It stays these type of conditions all day. It'll be great. That sun is going to come in front of us. And how that will affect the fishing, with it being a bit clear, I don't know. But, say at the moment, just getting steady bites. You can see they're just beginning just to move that line a little bit closer in and that's what you can do when you stick float fishing to begin with we were going on the line of them houses the reflection just trying that edge it a little bit closer in already just to see if you can get them fish a bit closer in so like i was saying there just going that little bit closer in 
the closer in you can get them the more control you've got the more behind the float you are and the better presentation you can get so that's what i was doing there just coming that tiny little bit closer in and it just helps you out incredibly when you stick float fishing with the sun just coming over the horizon onto the water winter fishing for days on the river ribble that's where i love to be coming that little bit closer in again and just feeding by hand now i was feeding that hemp with the catapult to begin with just going that little bit further out by feeding by hand the bait just doesn't go as far and like you can see there catching them fish now literally just that bit closer in and then a lot easier just make way for the swans mr and mrs they were heading upstream no doubt hopefully they are beautiful birds aren't they and yeah see them a lot on the channel if you're a regular on the channel you'll know all about mr and mrs swan what a beautiful sight them heading just up the river that sun just coming over the horizon and that's why i love rivers they're just beautiful places to wet a line and what a beautiful day that is the lovely colors of the river ribble ice cold in the palm most definitely but happy happy danny you see they're just holding that bait back and it fluttering just making the difference i think now in this clear water you've got to remember is the fish can see everything when it's this clear and um, your know, presentation is key so you know when there's a lot of fish on here when you've got a cormorant in the area and you can see him just diving over there you do get a bad name in fishing obviously but the part of the world we live in now so you might as well make advantage of them you know when trying to locate where you want to fish and if you turn up and one of them's diving you can guarantee they're not doing it for nothing just see there by just edging that bait through we're getting them fish now a bit closer in and starting just to get one or two better ones as well which is a good sign there was quite a few small ones about to begin with but that's a much better one the vlog's been going for a while now and getting loads of questions coming in and i try and reply to all of them you know in between work and family life and you know getting that balance but i try and make videos that you know help people that are new to the sport you know show the basics of what i do and hopefully you know help one or two people out along the way and hopefully that's just shown how you can start off out there and end up literally off the rod tip you just move that shoulder in nice and slowly it is really nice fishing today so as soon as we got them fish from the start kind of knew you know it was in for a, a decent day and that is a clonking days literally just coming off the rod tip beautiful fishing you can see there how close in we're getting the bites literally the end of the rod tip and the good quality as well certainly have a nice net at the end if we don't get mr pike turn up most definitely So with the cold the gopro battery was always gonna not last as long as it normally does but hopefully that early stage has just shown the bites and where we've been getting them and now we are literally just going off the rod tip down here you see there the bite of chuck literally off the rod tip at the start we were feeding quite positive with the catapult and you know trying to attract them fish in and put a bed down now there's one or two fish there you know just cutting it back a little bit literally feeding off rod tip and with the maggots what i found best is not to put them in every time but to put two bigger handfuls in probably every five or six casts just to put some maggots through the swim but just keep putting in 
this hemp really wanted that hemp today and then it just edged over the top like you've just seen such a shame today that that tripod has broke because it'd have been really good to put the camera behind me today and you know just show how you're getting these bites because they have literally just been that nice distance down the swim it has been a beautiful day conditions wise and fishing wise for trotting down the river catching days just holding that float back and there we go and that's about as good as it's going to get with the rod in one hand and the phone in the other but yeah a lovely days fishing and the fish this year most definitely are in tip-top condition so well into the afternoon now and beautiful day to be on the bank i've got my hoodie off now i'm just sat here in a t-shirt really is a balmy year a bite of chuck every time we go through something's happening either you, you miss a bite or you get one it really has been good fishing but there is one reason for that and it is a tip that i've been meaning to share for some time now and i hope that it helps you when you're fishing now what you do you get your brew you strike you knock your cup of coffee over you spill it over your weights your hooks your line just adds that flavor to the line and to the hook and to the weight that just instantly is going to catch you more fish so i hope that tip helps you out <laughs> yeah on a cold day spilling your brew is not the way to go and in amongst all those days there's the odd better roach and that been few and far between these roach today the other session they were quality ones weren't they but as always got that lovely sheen to them and a welcome sight in a net full of days on a cold winter's day that is one of the bonus fish of the day that it's a lovely roach coming towards the end now and one thing that i really do enjoy doing is using that whip that i picked up last year so if that's something that you'd like to see on the channel then leave a comment down below and we'll come back on here and give the whip a go because today i really think we'd have done well using the whip so what an enjoyable session on the bank that was as you can see from the final net an excellent day's fishing and we all had an excellent day as you can see from my uncle's and gabby's net when we fished that swim last time we had an excellent day's fishing and i would say this time it shocked me even more because it was lower and clearer it bodes well for the winter ahead most definitely there's some quality in that net some lovely days and some nice roach recording the vlog a couple of days later temperatures really have dropped it's minus three this morning so yeah winter has most definitely arrived in the future blogs you're about to see i hope you've enjoyed this week's blog it's been great getting on the banks of the river ribble and again leave a comment down below if you want me to do that whip video all that remains is to thank you all for the amazing support you show the channel i want to wish you all tight lines in your own fishing and i'll catch us all next week tight lines